Today we're kicking off our 32 Roadster build by changing the front brakes. These cars come with disc brakes, which do a great job of stopping the car, but they don't really look the part of a mid-60s hot rod, which is what we're after. So today we're gonna fix that. Josh is coming by and we're gonna tear into this thing. This new product that we have here, I think is gonna look a heck of a lot cooler. You wanna tell us about it, Josh? Yeah, certainly kind of give it some old school cool here. So we've got some of our new components for this season. This early Ford brake drum that's styled like a 45 fin Buick drum. It's got all the right dimensions to work with our early Ford components as we'll notice as we put it together. And then our normal flat top Ford spindle to go right with our early Ford self-energizing backing plates. So kind of dress it up that old school look, right? Mm -hmm. Street Rodder built this car in the first place. We sent them the car without the engine and transmission sort of as they come. And they put, a, they put an engine in it. Um, they put a Turbo 350 in it. And they did all that and they wrote about it. And it was even on the cover of a magazine in like 2007. And that was this very car. It's been kind of the road warrior to tour the world in the show rigs. It's been to a lot of shows, that's for sure but I don't know that it's gotten a lot of road trip time, so we're gonna try to fix that. Yeah. These cars started out as Bill's favorite 32 that he had and it had to get diced up and used to make body stampings and whatnot. I always heard that this was sort of his version of what a 32 Ford should be, you know, the 50 right. Pontiac tail lights and the red paint and all the chrome and the 40 dash. You know, this was if he was gonna build a 32 Roadster, this is what he would build. What do you think of the chrome backing plates, Josh? They're pretty beautiful. They really match with our uh, chrome axle and shocks here and everything and our uh, aluminum fin drums. It's really a pretty sweet package all together. I'm glad we took the time to take them apart and send them in. Yeah, I mean, these are just the ones that we sell just raw, but I thought for this car with all the chrome that's on it, you know, it would be good to have them, have them chrome. So we sent them out. These are the Bendix style backing plates that we sell that require that the flat be ground in the spindle. And so it's nice, the other nice thing is that now we sell that spindle that has the flat in it so that you don't have to do all the grinding or chuck it up in a mill or do whatever people have been doing for years to use this 37 to 41 spindle with a Bendix backing plate. Yeah, and you don't end up holding your tongue half out and squinting one eye trying to grind the top of the spindle down to the right amount and checking it 20 times. You know, this is already done in a, already done, you know, it's a right. nice mill and yep. has the right amount taken off. Okay, are you ready to put the hubs on? No. I just got the wrenches. You had the wrenches the whole time. If you want me to just say it, I'm gonna say it. Just like that, we had brakes. Hubs next. We've already assembled these, packed the bearings, installed the seals. So these are pretty well just ready to slide on. These are our reproduction 40 Ford style hubs, which will fit right over the spindle and will fit right inside our Buick drums. Getting close to putting that jewelry on. The jewelry. Just bend those over, put our dust cap on, and onto the drum setting on. All right, the big moment is here. Pretty excited. <laughs> oh man, that looks great. Nice. Are you happy? Oh yeah. That took a lot of time to get to that. A lot of time planning on making these. For the time being, since we changed the bolt pattern on the front to a five on five and a half early forward bolt pattern, we just pulled these, these reproduction five on five and a half wheels that we sell. It's just like a clone of a 40 Ford wheel and mounted some 450, 16 bias plies on them. That's what it's all about right there. That's what all that whole fuss about getting these fin Buick looking drums on here is 
that reveal of getting to see those fins on the inside of the wheel when that's not covered up by a fender. Those are the brakes that belong in this car. Yeah, it totally changes the attitude of the car. A fenderless car, this is all hanging out in the breeze, so it's got to be, it's kind of got to be pretty. It's kind of like going to the jewelry store a little bit.